I'm Caleb McNeil and I'm a young aspiring filmmaker. I decided to go into filmmaking about August 2019. Um, I had just seen uh, the TV, the third season of Stranger Things TV show on Netflix. And I was like, man, I if I could make some sort of show, anything like this, that would be really awesome if I could be able to make something so influ influential to so many people. And it kind of took off from there. I kind of see myself wanting to really innovate the way that um, films are made now and just the like norms that are in the film in industry. Um, I, I really believe that a lot of, there are a lot of independent filmmakers out there, not just me, that have a lot of good ideas, but it's really difficult to get into film or the film industry and make it in Hollywood because you have to have so many connections and really work to get there. Um, but yeah, so I graduate this May and I see myself going full time into uh, filmmaking. And I'm, I also do some acting as well. but. I really see myself just writing, filming, you know, getting the basics down and uh, really just working on my craft. And um, yeah, this coming May, I'm going to be um, uh, going into the endeavor of creating my first feature length film. And I feel like that from what I've learned from my other short films, that's the best way to learn is by filming. And I learned so much from just those short films. And so the best way to learn, I feel like would be to make a film that I believe in and learning things that go on behind the scenes as well for filmmaking. Um, but really just um, like starting the film and going out and getting myself to work every single day, even when I don't feel like it, just getting in those hours it gets to 10,000 hours, you know, so I can master it. Um, most of the ways that I, I'm learning now, but how, so what I'm learning, how I learn right now is pretty much, I have an acting coach and he doesn't just teach me acting. He, he, he's been in the film business for a while. So he teaches me stuff all the time. If I ask him about how do I, what's the best way to put out a casting call, stuff like that, he'll tell me. And my main source of learning is from him, but also like YouTube, like you don't have to go to college and pay for classes very much anymore. When you have places like YouTube, you can just buy books and uh, you have the internet, you know, you can teach yourself like self learning is like at everyone's fingertips basically nowadays. And so that's how I do it now. I mo mainly teach myself. I have a few people that I work closely with to help me out. Um, but it's mainly just done myself. Um, and how I plan on doing it, I don't have any specific plans um, to travel really. Like I, I don't I don't see myself move it, moving to LA. Maybe um, if I get the job there or something, I'd go there, travel there until the job's done and I come back home. Um, I don't see myself moving across the country to pursue my dreams since there's like you, a lot can be do, done over the internet nowadays. So um, I don't think it's a necessity to move and I don't see myself doing that anytime soon. So my inner circle of people is very supportive of what I do. Um, my parents are extremely great. I'm very blessed to have the parents that I have. Um, my family's just all in all is very supportive. I have a few friends, uh, mentors that are very supportive to me, um, but it is kind of funny. Um, there are people that it does raise some eyebrows sometimes when you say that, yeah, I'm not going to go to college. I'm just going to go into acting and filmmaking. I've been like when I get with my extended family, grandparents around the holidays and stuff like that, they uh, it definitely does raise some eyebrows. One time I was talking to my grandparents and uh, at my house and they're asking they were going down the line asking us, uh, you know, who's, who's doing what? They asked my sister, one of my sisters, and she was like, oh, I'm going into social work. They asked my other sister. She said she wants to go into some type of uh, creative design. Um, and they asked my little brother, he's like, oh, I want to go into insurance. And they get to me and I say, oh, I'm going to be a filmmaker. 
and then they're just like oh okay that's nice that's nice but like what are you gonna do for a job and i'm like well yeah that's what i'm gonna do you know <laughs> so um it definitely does raise some eyebrows even some people close to me don't really get it but as a creative you you get that once you get that itch you just have to go for it so i've just kind of like abandoned all all else and just gone for it so